want to. Mm -hmm. okay. Want the back of your head? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, so you're trying to find the horizon here, and, the, and somewhat of what's happening is a hill here, and you're going to use the darkest point oh, yeah. at the base, Thank you. bringing it up and combining it. And you're going to use like raw umber for that and, and some sap green and then you're going to combine it with some lighter tones as you as you see fit and just mixing it as you go blending it all the way up and then incorporating some of the branches that are in there real loosely we'll put a lot more in anyway in a little bit, but I just want to put a few in, just like I did over here. And then you integrate those so that the leaves are in front of, in some cases, here and there. And a lot of it on this side is this sap green and a little bit of, I've got some lime green in there just to brighten some of it up. Tapping the brush with the side. Okay. Some more darks in here. Get even darker. Some of the spots. So this is going to hold all the brights. All these darks is going to hold the brights. So then when I put the brights on the top of all that, so it stands out a little more. Use that green again. So the colors that were used in the dark areas are um, purple, raw umber, and sap green without the white, similar to what we did here, but that had white in it. And then we threw on the palette some uh, burnt sienna, some cadmium yellow, cadmium, cadmium red with yellow to give it a little bit of a brightness, um, some sap green with white. So, you know, as we went along, we added some of these colors to brighten it up. Just kind of whatever you see, just adding it up, adding it slowly as you go. Let me do a little more on this side. This is what I'm seeing here. And always refer back to the reference as much as you can. Okay. That's all. Yeah.